welcome to our review on six mark questions for the foundation tier this time looking at a B3 example which actually requires us to describe and explain patterns in a graph so the question we've got here then is as I said from the B3 section now when we're actually looking at ones like this then they can occur in both the biology, the chemistry, the physics it doesn't really matter because they're all going to follow a very similar theme of describing and then explaining patterns that we can see in a graph so the question we've got this time is Peter is investigating how exercise affects his pulse rate. He uses a pulse meter to measure his pulse rate. He runs as fast as he can for four minutes. He then sits down and measures his pulse rate again every two minutes for the next 16 minutes. And the graph shows his results. So we're going to need to look at the graph. And the question that we've actually got there then is describe and explain the patterns in the graph. So as always we pick out the two things to do. First one is going to be describing second one is the explaining so we've got those two different things to do so when we actually look at the graph first of all we're going to start with the describe so the first thing that we can see is they've marked on the graph for us when he's actually exercising and during his exercise we can see that the pulse rate is increasing so that's going to be our first point is that the heart rate increases during exercise So, we've talked about that first bit, and then we're going to come on to describing the next bit. So, when he's finished exercising, we can see that there is this decrease. So, that's our second point that we're going to write down, is that heart rate decreases after exercise. Now, the last thing to notice on our graph is all the way over here, from 16 minutes and onwards, then we have a horizontal line, so it's leveled off. So that's the last thing we need to say, is that the heart rate levels off at 16 minutes. So that gives us the full explanation of the actual graph itself. Now what we've got to do is explain the reason for each of those sections. So first of all, we need to actually say why it is that the heart rate increases during exercise. So hopefully we do know that when we exercise, then our muscles are having to do more. So that's what we're going to talk about here is during exercise, the muscles need more oxygen and glucose carry out respiration to make energy this means the heart rate has to increase to pump more blood So that's explained the increase, and then as for it decreases, all we need to say is heart rate decreases after exercise as the muscles don't need as much energy. So that's literally the sum total of the answer that we need to write down and if we have a look at the mark scheme to see where we'd actually get the marks for a level one answer which is between one and two marks then we'd identify one pattern in the results or attempt to explain why the heart rate increases so literally for that first point there you'd already have your level one answer for the level two answer which gets us between three and four marks you could identify one of the patterns and attempt to explain why the heart rate increases or decreases. Alternatively, you could identify the complete pattern, which is the increase, the decrease and the level off, but without any explanation. So in our case, that top bit there is our level 2 answer, and that's got us 4 marks already. And then finally, for the level 3 answer, which gets us between 5 and 6 marks, we've got to identify the complete pattern, the increase, the decrease, the level off, and explain the reasons for the increase or the decrease. So because we've obviously explained our increase here, then that, with the top section there, 
gets us our level three, which is six marks. Obviously, I also did the decrease there as well. Either one of those, complete with the pattern at the top there, would get your top six marks. So just remember that when we get one of these describe and explain patterns in the graph questions, start off very logically by going through, look at the start of the graph, describe the patterns. We're looking for very clear patterns there. Put them down in sequence. Then the explain is to say why we get each of those. So as I always tell my groups, describe, you say what you see, explain, you say what you see and why that occurs.